All right, taking a look here at number three, we're still finding the root if it is a real number. And we've been given the cube root of negative 1,000. All right, so again, you'll remember if you've watched the previous videos, we talked about if this root or index that you're working with is going to be something other than two, it will be written. Otherwise, if there's no number here, your index or your root is understood to be a two. And we also talked about in previous videos that you cannot have a negative under the radical when you're dealing with an even power or even root here, even index. Here, three is our index. Three is odd, and we can have a negative under the radical with an odd index. All right, and so all this is asking us is, what number raised to the third power is going to give us negative 1,000? Well, you can either use your calculator or if you're utilizing your chart, you can go down to the chart and we're dealing with the third index, right? This is a cube root. There was a three in our index. So you want to go to the third power column and look down the column until you see a thousand and hopefully it's here. Ah, there it is. And go over to the left, and that'll tell you what number to the third power gives you a thousand. Well, 10. So 10 to the third power gives us a thousand. All right. Well, let's go ahead and evaluate this. So let me get rid of some of these arrows here. All right, is 10. But we had a negative under the radical, didn't we? And so we're allowed to have a negative under the radical when our index or root is odd. And when we have a negative under the radical with an odd index, our answer is going to be negative. Because again, all this is asking us is what number cubed gives us negative 1,000? Well, if we just said positive 10, right? 10 times 10 times 10, well, that answer is positive 1,000, right? 10 times 10 is 100, times 10 is 1,000. Here they're asking us what number cubed or, or, or raised to the third power gives us negative 1,000. Well, oops, let me do that again. Negative 10 times negative 10 times negative 10. Well, now we have negative 10 times negative 10 is positive 100 times negative 10 is negative 1000, which is what we're looking for. So again, when your index or root is odd, you can have a negative under the radical and your answer will be negative. You cannot have a negative under the radical if your index or power or root rather is even. So two, four, six, eight, so on and so forth. All right, and our final answer here for number three, negative 10.